All right, Padres pregame thoughts, Padres and the Cardinals later today, game two of this series, the second to last final home game of the regular season for the Padres. Notice I said regular season because the Padres, they're technically still in this year in the postseason picture. Nick Martinez on the mound for the Padres, and then I believe it's Jake Woodford on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. Don't expect the Cardinals starter to be going long here. Probably like two, three innings. I was looking at his game logs just a few moments ago, and I think that's pretty much what he's been doing here as of late. So feels like it's going to be a bullpen game, a couple bullpen games, because the Padres with Nick Martinez on the mound, maybe he could get four in, but then I would expect the Padres to go with Pedro Avila coming out of the bullpen. Pedro Avila, he's had more success coming out of the bullpen than as a starter. I know he had that really good outing. I forget what team it was against. I want to say the Giants at home. A really good outing uh, where he went really, really deep, got his first career big league win, but he's been doing much better. It seems like he's more comfortable out of the bullpen. So we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, Josh Hader, he should be available today, and I would expect him to throw if the Padres have a lead late in the game because Suarez went yesterday, Garcia went yesterday, Cosgrove, I want to say he went yesterday. A lot of the big guys, all of them, except Barlow went, except Hader. They all went. Hader, obviously, yesterday, if you missed it on my post-game reaction, I explained why he didn't pitch yesterday. It was because he had thrown three consecutive days in a row, um, and so they were going to give him two days off, the off day and then yesterday. So let's get to the Padres' Cubs here, like the, the postseason situation. I believe the Padres, if they win out, they have eight games left. They win out, they finish the season 16-0, and I believe if the Cubs go 3-5, and five, that would allow the Padres to make the postseason. If some other things, if I believe like the Reds, uh, the Giants obviously, but the Padres are playing the Giants. So if the Padres play really well and they win out, then they don't have to worry about the Giants. But teams like the Marlins, the Reds, the Cubs, the teams that are ahead of the Padres in the wildcard standings, you still got to worry about those teams, no doubt. But the Cubs are that team that is in that final wild card spot right now. So that's why I bring them up. And they've got, I believe, some matchups against the Brewers. They play the Braves. So it's not the easiest uh, ending to their 2023 schedule. While the Padres, got, we got the Cardinals, we got the Giants, we've got the White Sox. Those are three teams that are not playing well. Cardinals, obviously, they've got dudes in the bottom of the lineup that I've like never heard of. And I'm a baseball fan. I'm not just a Padres fan. I've, I've don't know who these guys are. I know who Mason Wynn is, obviously, even though he was hitting like 160 last night. I know who that who that is, but they've got a starter tomorrow, last name Rom, I think, R-O-M. I've never heard of that guy. They, it's it's weird because Nolan wasn't playing last night. So it's a, it's a different Cardinals team. So got them. The Giants obviously haven't been playing good baseball. And then the Chicago White Sox, their season has just been an S show. So, um, you know, the Padres, they've got the schedule on their side. They just don't have the calendar on their side, right? Because, like, for example, yesterday they win, then the Cubs, they also win. So it just cancels it out, and all that means is it's one less day on the calendar for the Padres, which is actually bad news. Um, so it actually makes the Padres' chances of winning harder, even if they won yesterday, because the Cubs won. You know, it's just, it's just less time. So... I don't, again, I don't see the Padres making the postseason, but I definitely understand people that want to start to believe. I'm not on that. I want to wait till the end of this weekend, see where the Padres are in the standings. Uh, but it definitely is fun baseball. No doubt about it. It is fun to watch this Padres team right now. I'm just also a little annoyed uh, because, as I was telling someone last night, I'm just annoyed because... I wish that this team would have done this more consistently this season because it's in there and they're doing it without Jay Cronenworth. They're doing it with Manny DHing. They're doing it with Matthew Batten and Eggy Rosario playing. They're doing it without Gary Sanchez. They're doing it without Musgrove and Darvish starting games. Uh, it's Steven Wilson's out in the bullpen. There's injuries to this team and they're doing it now. I, I get it. Rockies, A's, and I've definitely hit on that point. Let, let, let's not get too uh, excited. I mean, let's look at the teams that they're playing. But they're still Major League Baseball teams. I know the A's, we consider them a minor league team, but it, they're still Major League Baseball teams. Um, and when you win eight games in a row in Major League Baseball, it's still impressive regardless of who you're playing. Um, I, I just, again, I wish that the Padres would have, you know, won some of those extra inning games, some of those one-run games. So we, 
at least I would be more excited about what they were doing right now. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens today. Nick Martinez on the mound. I don't have the lineups yet because this is uh, earlier pregame thoughts. But uh, assuming Hassan Kim is in the lineup, that's going to be my underdog fantasy pick. Hassan Kim higher, half a single. I would expect Bogarts to still be leading off, but we'll see. Kim may be back, you know, down lower in the lineup. I think he was hitting six last night. Results-wise, I mean, I think the offense, I'm hoping the offense to, you know, will give Nick Martinez, Pedro Avila, whoever comes into this game, I'm hoping that the offense will give them more of a cushion early on in this game. Um, so we'll we'll see. There was some production from the from the bottom of the order last night. So obviously that's what I'm hoping for again tonight because uh, Manny's not going to hit two home runs every game, right? 